Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para sumahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! The x-intercepts of a parabola are 2 and 4, and the y-intercept is 8. If the parabola passes through the point W8, what is the value of W? Para masolve natin to, gagamitin natin ang intercept form ng parabola. So let's recall, y is equal to 8 times x minus x1 times x minus x2, where x and y are the points in the parabola, x1 and x2 are the intercepts. Para makuha natin ang intercept form ng equation na nagre-represent sa parabola, we need to solve for a. At gagamitin natin ang equation na to para masolve ang w. So we have y is equal to a times x minus x1 times x minus x2. Since ang xy is any point on the parabola, pwede natin gamitin ang y-intercept is equal to 8, which is the point at 0, 8. For the x-intercepts, meron tayong x1 is equal to 2 and x2 is equal to 4. Now we substitute these values into the equation para makuha natin si a. 8 is equal to a times 0 minus 2 times 0 minus 4. Simplifying, we have 8 is equal to a times negative 2 times negative 4. 8 is equal to a times 8. Dividing both sides by 8, we get 1 is equal to a. Now we substitute 1 is equal to a into the intercept equation. So para makuha natin ang w, ang gagamitin nating point on the parabola xy is w8. The same pa rin ang gagamitin nating intercepts. x1 is equal to 2 and x2 is equal to 4. So now that we have all these values, pwede natin itong isubstitute sa equation in order to solve for w. Now substituting all these values into the y-intercept form, y is equal to a times x minus x1 times x minus x2. We get 8 is equal to 1 times w minus 2 times w minus 4. Simplifying, we will get 8 is equal to w minus 2 times w minus 4. So gamitin natin ang FOIL method to multiply w minus 2 times w minus 4. Ang makuha natin sagot is 8 is equal to w squared minus 6w plus 8. Subtracting 8 from both sides, we will get 0 is equal to w squared minus 6w. Factor out W, we get W times W minus 6, which is equal to 0 when W is equal to 0 or when W minus 6 is equal to 0. Solving W minus 6 is equal to 0, we will get W is equal to 6. This is our final answer. Express in lowest terms, n cubed plus 7n squared all over n squared minus 2n minus 63. So para masimplify natin ito, kailangan nating ma-identify ang common factors ng numerator and denominator. So let's factor the numerator first. n cubed plus 7n squared. So pareho silang may n squared, we can factor that out. We will get n squared times n plus 7. Hindi na natin ito factor further. So let's proceed sa denominator. n squared minus 2n minus 63. Factors of n squared are n and n. And factors of 63 that will give us the negative 2n is 9 and 7. Negative 9 and positive 7 para makuha natin ang 2n. But let's check. n times negative 9 is equal to negative 9n. And 7 times n is equal to 7n. Negative 9n plus 7n is equal to negative 2n. Ngayon na na-factor out na natin ang numerator and denominator, ipagsasama na ulit natin sila. We have n squared times n plus 7 over n plus 7 times n minus 9. Cancel out n plus 7, we will get n squared over n minus 9.
on a number line, how many integers are no more than 8 units from 20 and also at least 10 units from 35. So, meron tayong dalawang conditions, ang no more than 8 units from 20 and yung at least 10 units from 35. So, let's draw two number lines representing these conditions and another number line representing the intersection of these conditions. Let's start with no more than 8 units from 20. So, ilagay natin sa number line ang 20. Pag sinabi natin no more than 8 units from 20, pwede itong, pwede itong 8 units to the left of 20 or 8 units to the right of 20. So, 8 units to the left of 20 is 20 minus 8. So, that's 12. 8 units to the right of 20 naman is 20 plus 8. So, that's 28. Next is at least 10 units from 35. Similarly, ganun din ang idea sa next condition. So, i-identify natin ang 10 units from 35, which is 35 minus 10, so that's 25, and ang 10 units to the right of 35, which is 35 plus 10, is equal to 45. So, ang i-consider natin dito is yung numbers away from the 10th unit from 35. Kaya ang i-consider natin, kapag tinignan natin ang 25, is ang sa left side ng 25. Kapag naman sa 45, ang i-consider natin is ang right side ng 45. So ngayon, tingnan natin ang intersection ng dalawang number lines. Meaning, yung mga integers na pasok sa parehong conditions. Kaya intersection ang kinuha natin kasi andyan ang keyword na end. So, ang minimum value natin is 12 at ang maximum value naman natin ay 25. To identify the number of integers, subtract natin ang 25 minus 12 plus 1 which is equal to 14. So, take note na may plus 1 kasi included ang 25 and 12 sa condition. So, magiging negative 1 ito kapag based sa conditions, hindi kasama ang 25 and 12. So, going back, ang final answer natin is 14. Ko ang 3 raised to x is equal to 20, ano ang halaga ng 9 raised to x? So, let's recall our lessons in logarithms and exponents. Kapag gusto nating i-rewrite ang equation from exponential form to logarithmic form, Pwede natin gamitin ang rule na to. Next, we have a raised to log base a of x is just equal to x. So, notice na pareho ito sa base ng logarithmic exponent. If naaalala nyo pa ang loss of logarithms, if we have y log c, this is just equal to log of c raised to y. And lastly, if we have quantity a raised to b raised to x, that would just be equal to a raised to b times x. So, ang una natin gagawin is to transform 3 raised to x is equal to 20 to a logarithmic function. Log base 3 of 20 is equal to x. Isa substitute natin ito sa 9 raised to x. We will get 9 raised to log base 3 of 20. Since ang goal natin is magkapareho ang dalawang to, I-manipulate natin ang 9. We know that 3 squared is equal to 9. So let's write 3 squared. We will get quantity 3 squared raised to log base 3 of 20. Using equation 4, pwede na natin tanggalin ang parenthesis and we will get 3 raised to 2 times log base 3 of 20. Using equation 3, ang 2 log base 3 of 20 magiging log base 3 of 20 squared. Ngayon, pareho na silang 3. We can say that 9x is just equal to 20 squared. Our final answer is 9x is equal to 400. What is the solution xy to the system of equations negative 6x plus 5y is equal to 22? Let's use the addition method. 
Ang goal ng method na ito is magkaroon ng parehong coefficient ang x ng both equation or ang y ng both equation. But opposite signs. You can use either equation 1 or equation 2, but in this case, I will use equation 2. So we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 2. Para maging 6x ang 2x, we have to multiply the equation by 3. Multiplying, ang makukuha natin ay 6x plus 9y is equal to 6. Tawagin natin itong equation 2 prime. So adding equation 1 and equation 2 prime, we will get negative 6x plus 6x is equal to 0. Positive 5y plus positive 9y is equal to 14y. 22 plus 26 is equal to 28. Dividing both sides by 14, we will get y is equal to 2. To get x, substitute y is equal to 2 into either equation 1 or equation 2. Using equation 2, we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 2. Substitute y with 2, we will get 2x plus 6 is equal to 2. If we simplify this, we will get x is equal to negative 2. Our final answer is solution xy is equal to negative 2, 2.